One of the last remaining witnesses of the JFK assassination says he is rethinking the entire indec uh, incident of, that was going on for the first time. Former Secret Service agent who was protecting Kennedy that day told the New York Times that, quote, I'm beginning to doubt myself. Now I begin to wonder about what really happened. Now, of course, this comes as JFK's nephew, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., is now seeking the Democratic nomination for the presidency, but the so-called Democrats not, are not acting very Democratic. So if RFK Jr. feels like he is not getting a fair shake from the Democrats, will he run third party? He joins us now with more. Um, let, me, let me first ask you about the Secret Service agent. The, name by the, the guy's name is Paul Landis. You know, he, he talked about the magic bullet. Magic bullet to me was absurd from day one. Uh, never, never, to me, it never had any credibility. He was there, even on, put himself on record at the time, and mentioned that he made a mistake in his placement of the bullet in, in that room where your uncle was after he was shot. My question to you is does, should this now open a full fledged investigation? Uh, yeah, I mean, the interesting thing about this development is not uh, really his revelation because the and this information has been out there and the information, you know, the overwhelming information that there was more than one shooter involved and that there were multiple people involved has been recognized uh, by the American people. Seventy percent of Americans don't believe the warning report, but more importantly, when Congress investigated, reinvestigated the Warren Commission evidence and, and was looking at much more evidence than 1979, the House Select Assassinations Committee, they came to the conclusion, and this was the conclusion, official conclusion of the report, that John Kennedy was killed by a conspiracy. The majority of that House uh, staff believed that it was the CIA behind that conspiracy. The important thing that's happened now is finally the New York Times, the orthodoxy is starting to crumble. The New York Times, which has been the major uh, bastion, the champion of, of the Warren Committee long, uh, report long after it was discredited by a million different sources. The other thing that's important now, Sean, is, yeah, I think that they ought to have a real investigation of, of what happened, a genuine investigation. Um, but I all then looks at all the evidence, the millions of pages of documents that are now available. But more importantly, the last 5,000 pages of documents that the CIA will not release. It's breaking the law now. They are supposed to release those documents by 2017. President Trump promised to release them, which was his duty, and then he didn't. We don't know why. President Biden promised to release them, and then he didn't. We don't know why. Among those documents, the most interesting things that people want to know about is Bill Harvey's, the Miami station chief, who almost certainly was directly involved in the assassination, his travel records on that day. And I think most of the scholars who are looking at this issue, that that is the, the principal yeah. Piece of interest that there that they want to know well, about that we believe that the CIA is concealing. I want to see all those documents. I agree with you. They should be released to the public. Let me. Uh, your campaign manager, Dennis Kucinich, actually said the following in a letter to the DNC that they created a class, unfortunately, of pledged delegates called party leaders, elected officials, essentially the same as super delegates, due to the amount of control the party exer uh, exercises over elected officials. Um, basically saying you can't get a fair shake, that the deck is stacked against you. Joe Biden already pulled out of Iowa, pulled out of New Hampshire, because he thinks he'd do better at starting in South Carolina. You know, if you're not going to get a fair shot with the Democratic Party, and you're not getting even a fair shot in the mainstream media, you were very complimentary of Fox. We appreciate it, that we're being fair and we give you a voice. Um, my question to you is, why stay with the Democratic Party? Would you consider third party? Would you consider the No Labels Party or any party? Well, right now, I'm still, we're still, we're still arguing with the DNC and trying to get them to hold actually a fair election. As you pointed out, they have disenfranchised now the, all of the voters, essentially, in Iowa and New Hampshire, the states in which President Biden ran fourth. 
the last time around. So they're punishing the states that did not vote for President Biden the last time by basically disenfranchising the voters, making it so that if you live in New Hampshire, you cannot vote for anybody but President Biden this time around. They're, ch they're trying to do something else, which I think is much more uh, alarming, which is they're trying to pass a rule. They're debating right now to pass a rule, and it's almost certain to pass that voters in Georgia will be disenfranchised if they vote for any of the, if they if they vote for me or for Marianne Williamson. Well, let me ask you then, um, the would Democratic you consider party another, history. will you consider running on another party ticket? Well, I, you know, right now I'm focused on trying to run as a Democrat. This is my home. This is the place I grew up. They don't I, seem I, very you know, friendly I'm, to I'm you. I'm hoping to make the Democratic Party work. When Sean Hannity's nicer to you than they are, you got a problem. You would agree with that. I, I if they're not treating you, you fairly, you why, why, why stay with them? If they're not going to treat you fairly, why? Well, I'm hoping that they will. I'm hoping that they will at least allow a fair right. vote in the states outside of New Hampshire and Iowa. We'll know My this bet. week. All right, and we'll bring you back next week and ask you the same question. How's that? We appreciate That's you being good. here. All right, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.